Hello, everybody. So we're doing something different today. For today's coaching email, I'm actually going to take you through a really beautiful practice to move emotions through you. I've been talking a lot lately about claiming it so it doesn't claim you. And this concept is from Carl Jung, which is whatever we don't make unconscious conscious becomes our fate which means if you are angry day in and day out that's where you have taken up permanent residence in now you're not only angry you are an angry person you're not only feeling angry anger you are angry all the time Sometimes we don't even realize that we have these resentments, that we have these, you know, negative emotions that are inside of us because it feels like it's a part of our identity and we're not aware of it because we haven't claimed it. It's okay to feel whatever it is that you're feeling. It's okay to feel anger. It's okay to feel sadness. It's okay to feel everything that you are feeling. But the question becomes, is it where you want to take up permanent residence? Is there a better way? Is there a healthier way? Is there a more joyful way that we can live and that we can process the emotions that we pick up from our experiences currently and from our past? So what I want to do today is I'm going to take you through a really beautiful exercise that will help you to work through your emotions and claim it so it doesn't claim you. Making what's unconscious conscious. And if it is already conscious, flowing through it, moving through it instead of trying to constantly stuff it down, which as we know, doesn't work. The more we stuff, the more we take up permanent residence in that feeling. So what I want you to do while you're doing this exercise with me is I want you to answer. I'm going to say something and I want you to answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. Don't overthink it. And I'm going to go fast enough, but slow enough as well. This really beautiful balance so that you don't overthink it because here's what I don't want to have happen. I don't want your mind to get involved. I want your emotions are here. Your emotions are in your heart. Your emotions are in your body. Your emotions are in your tummy. I don't want this to get involved and start to say, but we have no reason to feel that way. Or we, you know, this feels comfortable. So we're just going to stay here or don't look at that because that's too scary and too uncomfortable. We're going to get uncomfortable. The first thing that comes to your mind, say that. After the video, I want you to take a moment and just free write anything that came up, any new revelations, anything new where you feel like I, I possibly need more support on this, whatever comes up. And I'm going to share with you this exercise after we do it together so that you can do it on your own if you want in your journal. The reason why it's so powerful to repeat it after me, I do this with my clients, is because there's no moment, because we're going through it together, where you're just going to pause and, and write it down and think, no, nope, that's not how I feel. When you're, we're doing it together, the first thing that comes to your mind, that's what we have to make conscious. That's the truth. That's your heart speaking. So let's do it together. First, I want you to just take a really, really deep breath, okay? Deep, deep breath. And I want you to say to yourself, I am safe. This process is safe. It is safe for me to bring these emotions up. It is safe for me to bring these emotions up. And we're going to start with anger. Repeat not repeat after me, answer every single time I say this phrase, I want you to answer the first thing that comes to your mind. 
I'm angry that. I'm angry that. Why are you so angry? I feel angry when. I feel angry when. When do you feel angry? Light it up. How dare you? Mm. If there's any resentments coming up, how dare you? How dare you what? Who are you speaking to? How dare you what? Maybe even to yourself. Maybe even to the universe. How dare you? How dare you? I hate it when. Bring that up. Bring that up. I hate it when. What do you hate? What do you hate? I hate it when. I hate it when you do this. I hate it when you say this. Bring it up. Deep breaths all throughout. Deep, deep breaths, okay? Let's move on. We're feeling the anger. We're bringing up the anger. Anger usually comes from sadness. Let's turn to sadness. Let's turn that anger into sadness. Sadness feels better than anger, even if you don't think so. It hurts that you. It hurts that you. What hurts? What hurts? It hurts that you. It hurts that you. I'm sad that, what are you sad about? I'm sad that, what is that? What are you sad about? Let it up, let it bubble. It's okay, you are safe. You're safe, okay? You're safe. This is a safe container right now for you to feel. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed. What are you so disappointed in? What is disappointing you? I am so disappointed. Mm. I feel unhappy. Let the unhappiness up. It's okay. It's okay to feel it. I feel unhappy. What do you feel unhappy about? I feel unhappy. A lot of times our anger and our sadness comes from these feelings of fear. This fear creeps in. This fear doesn't allow us to feel our anger, to admit that we're angry, to feel our sadness, to admit that we're sad because it wants to keep us safe. It wants to protect us. So we stuff those emotions down to protect ourselves from feeling what we need to feel, from feeling the temporary emotional discomfort. And it's deeply rooted. It's deeply rooted in our psyche, in our subconscious mind. And if we allow it, it can guide us. And sometimes, especially when we get in touch with our fears, we start to see how fear is bringing in that anger, how fear is bringing in that sadness and how fear is making our decisions for us. Let's get in touch with our fears. I'm really scared that. I'm really scared that. What are you afraid of? How is your fear trying to keep you safe? I'm really scared of that. What is it? Bring it up, it's okay. Again, you are safe. You're safe. I'm really scared that. Don't forget to breathe. I was afraid of, what were you afraid of that's been making your decisions for you, that made you stuff down that anger, that made you stuff down that sadness? I was afraid of. And let's bring it right back to the present moment. I worry that. What are those worries? I worry that. I worry that. I worry that I won't be loved. Maybe. I worry that I'll be abandoned. It's a real one, right? It's okay to feel that. Bring it up. 
Imagine that it's bubbling right up. I worry that. Now I want to move on to the next one, which is longing and regret. We have desires and sometimes we have shame. I talked about shame. I talk about shame a lot and um, I will share some more resources for you to release shame. And one of the things that happens when we feel a shame is that we become really regretful. And it's like this cord constantly pulling us back to our past, which makes it really hard to be in this present moment, but also to move forward in a way that serves us, in a way that supports us. So let's just acknowledge that shame. Let's acknowledge, acknowledge those regrets. Let's claim it so it can stop claiming us. Deep breath. I'm sorry that... What are you sorry for? Bring it all up. It's okay. You are safe. What are you sorry for? You do not need to hold yourself hostage to your past mistakes. I'm sorry that. <sighs> yeah. Do you feel it? Just let it come up. Deep breaths. Again, you're safe. I've got you. Okay? I've got you. I really regret that. What are those regrets? Bring it up. I really regret that. First thing that comes, just let it up. Actually, first thing that comes here. I really regret that. That's going to bring a lot up. Let it up. Let it up. You might feel a little tight in your throat right now. You might be feeling a little dry heart might be pumping. That's all good. You're moving the emotions and that's what we want to do. I feel ashamed that. What's that shame? Name it. Claim it. Release those shackles by just acknowledging it, taking responsibility for it. I feel ashamed that. What is it? What's bringing you that shame? I feel ashamed that. And now, going to stay there for a second actually. I feel ashamed that. Let it all come. Mm. Let it all come up. Let it all come up. Now you've acknowledged it. You're sorry. You're ready to move forward. You know now you don't have to hold yourself hostage until death do you part to your shame to your mistakes. What are you willing to do? I am willing to. What is that? I am willing to take responsibility, forgive myself, feel all the feels, whatever it is, I am willing to. Now, let's start to let some stuff go. Let's start to let some self stuff go. You know, in my workshops, I talk about the difference between forgiveness and letting go. Forgiveness is, forgiveness is this really beautiful process that takes time. And letting go doesn't necessarily mean you've forgiven yet, but it means that you are willing to take those next steps and you were willing to no longer hold yourself hostage to those things, to that pain, to that shame, to that anger, to that sadness. Forgiveness will come, but it cannot come until we stand up and say, I'm willing to let go at the very least, learn to let go of the hurt, learn to let go of the anger, learn to let go of the sadness and the fear, right? The forgiving can come later. It can come later. So let's let go a little. I am letting go of. What are you letting go of? I am letting go of. You're going to need a deep breath for that one. It's okay. I am releasing control of. 
what's been out of your control that you've been hanging on to so tightly, right? I am releasing control of all the things I cannot control. I am releasing control of. What are you releasing control of? And now that I know all that I know, all that I know, what do you understand now? I now understand why. I now understand why I was so angry. I now understand why I was so sad. I now understand why I have been feeling all the ways that I have been feeling. I understand why. I understand why. What is that? What do you now understand? And you might not be ready for this yet, but let's say it anyway. And you're going to do this exercise multiple times, so eventually you will mean it. And that's okay if you don't mean it yet. Let's see what comes up. I forgive myself for. I forgive myself for. Mm -hmm. I forgive myself for. What is that? Hmm. So we've taken all of these emotions and they're all to the surface now, right? That's okay. You might be feeling some discomfort. Let's wrap it up so it feels safe, right? Let's give it some safety with some gratitude and love. I love myself for first thing that comes to your mind. Do not let your conscious mind, all of those limiting beliefs get in the way. Go with your heart. I love myself for there's always something I love myself for. Mm -hmm. I love myself for doing this work. This could be so simple. I love myself for let's wrap all of these emotions we just brought up in a big bubble of love right now. Okay, you're telling your your mind, you're telling your mind that you're safe. It's safe. We're safe. We can feel what we are allowed to feel. We can feel all the ways that we need to feel. We feel that it matters, period. We're claiming it. So it doesn't claim us and we are safe. I love myself for. And if you've been angry with someone, if you've been resentful towards someone, I love you because bring that person into your mind. Why do you love them? I love you because. I love you because. I love you because. Hmm. Can you already feel the energy shift? Wrapping all those emotions and love. We're bringing it out of the darkness and bringing it into the light, right? Love is the light and we're wrapping it all up. We're actually safe. We just felt all these feelings. 18 minutes, we've been feeling all of these feelings and now we're wrapping it in love and it turns out we're safe, right? We didn't get hit by lightning. The world didn't end. Let's wrap it in love even more. I'm so grateful for... What are you grateful for? I'm so grateful for. You know, there's someone out there right now who would give anything to live your life for a day. Remember that. All these things, gratitude, <laughs> whatever it is, I, I'm grateful that I know I have a safe place to sleep this evening. I'm so grateful for. What are you so grateful for? And if you've been angry, if you've been resentful, if you've really been struggling, if you've been harboring these really, you know, deep resentments towards someone, I want you to thank them. Thank you for. Thank you for. Thank you for showing me. I am so resilient. Thank you for showing me where I needed to grow. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for showing me that it's okay for me to feel. Thank you. Thank you. And we can't forget about love. There's a relationship in your life that's brought this sadness, that's brought this anger, whatever it might be, work, personal, romantic, friendship. I love us because. I love that one. I love us because. This question is so important because this exercise often brings up all of these emotions that come from someone else who's making us angry, someone else who has hurt us or has made us feel sad, it usually comes from somebody else, right? If we just lived in our own world and did our own thing and had no relationships with anyone outside of ourselves, we most likely wouldn't feel all of these feelings. So the reason why I incorporate some of these questions to bring in another person is because usually all of these feelings come from the relationships that we have in our lives. I love us because. Now take a really, really deep breath. Really, really deep breath. And you just felt all of those emotions. That's a wonderful t tool to navigate the emotional scale, which we have done many, many times together um, every single week. And we have learned how to use the emotional scale to make our decisions for us so that we're aligned with our decisions. This is a tool to help you feel your feelings and move through those feelings instead of stuffing them down. It's kind of like walking hand in hand with the feelings, which is so important. And we claim it so it doesn't claim us. And we do it in a really safe space. So any single time you want to feel your feelings, you can use this video. This is just for you. You can use this video or you can do it on your own, but sometimes it's really nice to be guided through it again so that your mind doesn't get involved and you're working through it from your heart, from your body, uh, from, your, from your sacral, all those places where typically we hold on to those emotions that we're holding on to. And what I want you to always remember is that you're always safe. You're always safe to feel and to acknowledge your feelings. And so often I think we stuff it down because the fear mind gets ignited and it tells us all the reasons why we're not to safe. It's not safe to feel the way we feel. Usually it's because we're afraid of being judged. We're afraid of being honest. We're afraid of being authentic so we don't get judged. But often I think what happens is that fear comes in. We're actually afraid of being abandoned for feeling the way that we're feeling. We're afraid of feeling even lonelier if we acknowledge that we're feeling this way, people might leave us. But the truth is, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen with the people in your life who unconditionally love you. Right? You're safe to feel whatever you need to feel. And if someone holds your feelings against you, the problem's not you. Okay? The problem's not you. Anyone who uses your fears, your anger, your sadness, your emotions against you, the problem is not you. You are not wrong to ever feel what you are feeling. Mm, I love you all so much. To every single one of you who's watching this right now, you, you, I am sending you so much love from like across the ethers right now. And I hope you feel that because I woke up this morning wanting to do this video for you, wanting to speak directly to each and every one of you. And I imagine every single woman who's watching this, feeling her feelings and empowering herself because empowered women empower other women. So just feel it. Just feel it.